What's up, high level fans? This is Beyond again with Extend Leaf for High Level uh, with another tip or trick to help you make your high level journey easy as possible. All right, so what we've discovered since high levels come up with a DD method to be able to select uh, which uh, DD, uh, which uh, channel you want to DD them from versus before this update um, was out, uh, high level was only able to DND them from all channels. So now you can actually DND them from just calls or emails or Facebook or GMB or SMS or Instagram. Um, what we've done is um, we've realized that now adding uh, this uh, on top of some of the workflows, adding this what else condition uh, uh, on top of the uh, uh, workflows is extremely important. Why? It's because if you have certain people DND'd on SMS, and let's say you've added them to through some sort of bulk uh, um, bulk uh, blast, you want to add them into a uh, workflow. Uh, you will, uh, or somehow they got added into any one of the workflows. You want to check to see uh, if uh, uh, their DND on SMS is on or not. If it is on, you want to continue. Uh, if it's off, you want to continue on. If it's on, you want to stop um, so they don't get uh, messages um, again. And, and you don't have to trigger that workflow out, and it doesn't have to cost you extra with Twilio charges and whatnot. Uh, by attempting to send it out and you don't see a bunch of those errors inside your uh, conversations that this message didn't get sent out because it was already um, uh, d and um, So to, to, prevent, to avoid all of that, uh, what we've done is uh, uh, added this what if uh, condition on top. And the way I did this condition is uh, D&D &D, uh, uh, enabled uh, on channels and it does not include SMS. It may include others, but if it doesn't include SMS, and if you want to do the same thing for email as well, you just want to, you know, go ahead and select whichever channels. But in this particular case, we're only doing SMS. Uh, if it doesn't include SMS, um, then, uh, go ahead and move forward with the workflow. If it does include SMS, then go ahead and stop and just exit the workflow, um, there. And then, um, so you may have, uh, you know, multiple people in there and then the, uh, the workflow may be lo long and they might have come to the first message and then they might have, you know, typed uh, stop or out or something like that to, uh, to prevent your workflow continuing onwards. Um, we've got another workflow uh, that says... Um, that basically uh, says if they are already opted out uh, or I'm sorry, it, it, it says uh, if they replied to one of your messages to opt out, then go ahead and tag them appropriately um, and uh, put all of this in there. So um, that's already live Z015-2 uh, in our, uh, if you're using one of our snapshots, um, it's, uh, it's the Z015-2. It's been there for a really, really long time. Um, but otherwise you, uh, you can, um, uh, I would like, uh, you to take a look at, see if it makes sense for you to incorporate, um, this, uh, step in there. We're going to start updating our snapshots and, um, and adding, uh, the necessary steps, uh, of the D&D in some of our workflow workflows where it really makes sense to have that in you obviously don't want to include something like this on your um on your uh confirmation and reminders and a matter of fact on 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 something like confirmation and reminders or any sort of transactional non-marketing uh, messages even if you have a customer on dnd you may want to uh, check to see if they are on DND. And the first step may be to drop them from DND. So that's not um, 
it, that's not to say you don't want to keep them on D&D, but you want to make sure your confirmation and reminder messages at least get to them. Otherwise, they may come and book, a, uh, book an appointment with you, and they're never going to receive those uh, messages because they were on D&D. And you're trying to send them out, but you can't send them out because they're on D&D, right? So you want to have one of the, one of the first workflow steps uh, to be remove them from D and D, um, and then, uh, continue, continue on or on with the remaining of the workflow. All right. So that's, that's all, uh, there hope that helps, uh, with uh, some of your workflows there. Um, and if there's any questions or concerns or any other tips or tricks you would like us to record, please do let us know. Uh, in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe to this channel so we can continue to bring you more and more tips and tricks thank you bye, -bye.